Low carb cereal. Low carb bread. Low carb candy. Food makers churn out more expensive low carb products every day with names like Carb Fit and Carb Options. So we bought these five items and brought them to this lab in Wilson, North Carolina. Chemists analyzed each product to see how many carbs they actually contain. Kellogg's Special K cereal says on its box it contains 14 grams of carbs per serving. The results from the test? Almost 14 grams, just about right on the button. It tells me that they're advertising exactly what they have in their product. But that's not the case for four products we tested. But surprisingly, if you're counting those carbs, these tests came out in your favor. Russell Stover's mint patties list 19 grams, but our lab found 18 grams. That's 5% fewer carbs. As for the other products, Carb Option by Ragu, Pepperidge Farm Carb Style Bread, and Carb Fit Tortilla Chips, all had one fewer gram than listed on the label. As far as the accuracy of what they see on packages, I think consumers should feel pretty confident. But she believes there is something consumers shouldn't be so confident about. A lot of manufacturers feel that some carbs are not significant to your dietary intake. So when it says net carbs on the front of the package, is that what somebody should be looking for? No. They should be looking on their nutritional label. Currently, the Food and Drug Administration is working to define net carbs. But as for now, if you're really trying to lose weight... People or consumers should concentrate on the carbohydrates by difference that is on your nutritional facts panel. So when counting, low-carb products give you a chance to cut out some of the carbs without cutting out some foods you enjoy.